Hey, what's up guys? Ivarva94 back with another action figure review. Today we are looking at the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Walmart exclusive. This is the 332nd or 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper from Star Wars The Clone Wars. This is the front of the package. On the side we get the side image art. On the back side there is a read-up and it is number three in the Clone Wars series. The read-up reads, During the Clone Wars, a division of the 501st Clone Troopers pledged their loyalty to Ahsoka Tano, demonstrating this with their repainted helmets. Pretty much it's just a Clone Trooper with a painted helmet that is orange, made to kind of look like Ahsoka. Alright, so here we have our Ahsoka Clone Trooper out of the box. He is a repaint of the Kamino Clone Trooper, so this is the exact same body mold and accessories as the Kamino Clone if you have that. You know what to expect here it's just painted differently so this is an exclusive to walmart as stated already unfortunately i i don't agree with that i don't like that army builders are exclusives to a store because it makes it very hard to army build we all are feeling that effect from the cobra trooper target exclusive big army builder there and not a lot of people have gotten a chance to army build that fully because it's a Target exclusive and it's hard to obtain. So hopefully that's not the case with this figure, but I'm not gonna hold my breath on that. I think this might be a little bit hard to obtain depending on how much people are gonna want to army build this. I know me personally, I want to grab as much as I can of these. I really did like Clone Wars, uh, the final season, especially everyone I think can agree that that was probably the best season, especially the last four episodes. And I really like this look for the clone troopers in that whole scene where Rex and the clones uh, welcome back Ahsoka Tano. And it's just really cool that they made a figure of the Ahsoka troopers. So the accessories that it comes with is the long rifle, which I don't know the actual name to it. I'm just going to say it's the long rifle. There it is. And then we have the shorter blaster rifle right here. So pretty standard stuff for clones there. Alright, so here's an up-close look at the Ahsoka Clone Trooper here, the 332nd Trooper. And the main attraction of this, of course, is the face paint. Here is the Ahsoka face paint on the helmet, and I like it. I heard some complaints about it, but I don't have anything to complain about here. I like that it isn't 100% clean. You can tell that they just painted it with whatever they had around to paint it. It's not a perfect job which it shouldn't, so it, you can see the lines aren't perfectly lined up. We got some scratches on the side. I am totally with that. I don't mind that at all. I think it looks good. I really do like it. Makes me more excited to army build it some more. Um, and then it gives you kind of a good look of what a 501st Trooper would look like once we finally get it. It's got to be coming. I, I mean, they can't let this body go to waste. I'm sure we're going to get them all now. It's just, it would be foolish of Hasbro not to release a 501st Trooper. Uh, definitely, that's got to be coming very, very soon. And, of course, it's got the head underneath the helmet, the unpainted white head, just like all of the Camino Troopers did. And, again, I really don't know what they have in store for us, what they have planned for this, I think. It has to do with Clone Wars, of course, obviously. I think we're going to get Jesse, Fives, and Echo. That would be absolutely amazing. But I think we might get them unmasked or with removable helmets. And that's what this body is getting prepped for. Or, you know, this head sculpt is getting prepped for. So they definitely have the head sculpts underneath. Uh, it's just a matter of them releasing it painted for us with those characters. Anyways, let's go down to the torso. Again, the paintwork is cool. I like that it's all scratched up. It's not perfect. It's been through a few battles. Line work on the side looks good. There's the shoulders and the back side. So that's your close look. Now, although this figure is the Camino figure, the Camino Trooper figure, and the articulation is the same, I'm still going to run through it real quick. A quick, quick run through of it. So the head on the same ball peg um, joint system. It's not a ball jointed hinge, so he'll look up about that high, and he'll look down about that low. We get some head tilts here. Left and right just fine. Arms are going to go forward and back. They do go in and out. We got the soft plastic for the pads. So they kind of go over the shoulder armor there. The shoulder armor tucks underneath it. And you can extend the arms out all the way, which is nice. We do not have bicep swivels, but we do get the butterfly joints here on the shoulders and arms right here. We get the single jointed elbows that bend beautifully right here. 
you can aim down the sights and everything got the side hinge on the wrist with the swivel at that wrist we have a swivel at the elbow as well diaphragm joint at the torso swivel left and right tilt side to side legs are going to go forward you're going to have to want to twist that leg right here and then twist the lower leg to get him to extend the leg all the way out still does the weird thing with the knee pad on the side but that's the best we can do here without obstructing or messing up the design of the actual armor we have thigh swivels the legs go in and out about this far we have a single jointed knee that bends very well more than a 90 degree bend swivel at that knee ankle hinge and a rocker at the foot and that's it all right so here's the comparison next to the camino clone trooper so here obviously you can see it's the same figure just a different paint job and then here we have him next to captain rex which is still one of my favorite Black Series figures ever made, just beautifully done, and it is on that older body mold too. I'm curious if they're going to re-release him with the new body mold. I don't think it's necessary because this one's just fine in my opinion. The only, the only Captain Rex release I want to see now is the Rebels old man Captain Rex version. And up next we have Ahsoka Tano, which is the Rebels version of Ahsoka Tano. I don't have the new one. Uh, the new one is part of this kind of wave of the Walmart exclusives. We have the Clone Wars Season 7 version of Ahsoka. I cannot wait to get that figure. It looks amazing. But for now, we can compare the Ahsoka Trooper next to the Rebels version. So there you have it. There's the review of the Walmart exclusive 332nd Clone Trooper, Ahsoka Clone Trooper. I really do like this figure and I really am excited to army build it some more. Uh, I've been looking forward to this ever since they announced it and even before they announced it I was hoping they would release this and they did so I'm very happy about that so thank you Hasbro. I just really hope Walmart really does a good job stocking it because I'm a little nervous to be honest with that. But I did secure a couple pre-orders on the website when it did go up so hopefully uh, those get shipped just fine and not cancelled. A few things before I close out the video, I do wish it wasn't 100% just a repack repaint. I wish they would have added a few extra things, like a few hands. Um, if we want to recreate the scene where he, they are all standing behind Rex, they were all just standing straight with the arms straight down and their hands straight down too. Uh, that very military pose when they're in formation. Uh, so if we had swappable hands where the hands were kind of straight down, almost like a saluting hand, kind of open hands that are just straight the fingers are all straight down where they're just standing straight uh, that would have been cool but this is all we can do right now the hands are gonna be we got one trigger finger one is just a grabbing hand um, and it's it's okay I guess I mean it's not the biggest gripe in the world but it would have been cool if we had a swappable hand uh, and again I'm gonna go back to it if we had the painted head where the helmet was removable just a painted clone head they all look the same right for the most part just a different haircut here and there but if we just had a general one normal general clone head for our clone army you know we can have our main characters different heads like echoes fives uh captain rex wolf all of those are going to be different of course but those those background side characters that don't have any names that we don't really know the ones that are in the background uh, can have just a standard general clone trooper head in my opinion but it's okay you can't get everything you ask for at least we got this trooper coming out and i am very happy about it. it looks good let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of the figure leave a like and subscribe if you have not done so already as always have a great day bye that's crispy